because now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Trailblazers lead by two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. What a performance from Harden here. He's got 24 points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. Yeah, it's getting hard to keep track of just how many of those he's hit. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Play created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making too. He really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game. And it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. On the floor for Portland. Lillard and Matthews pair up in the back. Batum and Aldridge are the power James tandem. Harden. And it's Lopez in a the five down low. James Harden with those rush hour handles, whether it's breaking his man down in isolation or running the pick and roll, he keeps that thing on the string. And then Lillard slams it in. It's a close game here in Houston. It's Harden with the drive. Ariza outside. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Ariza's got his first three points of the game. There's been a huge discrepancy between these teams and their effectiveness from the three-point line. Then you really notice it at that end of the floor where they continue to get open looks and knock them down. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, guys, common wisdom among players is that it's better to be an unrestricted free agent than a restricted one. However, a recent study found that comparable players ended up making more money in restricted free agency. Teams know they have to overpay to avoid a player's team matching that offer. Kevin? Well, some good examples from this offseason, Doris. Great job, thanks. Yeah, the contracts given to Chandler Parsons and Gordon Hayward come to mind. I mean, both were able to command max salary despite not yet being star caliber. They've been good on all three of their shots since coming out of the locker room at the break. Harden has a wide open look. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And we've seen a few mix-ups defensively out there on the perimeter. More than a few. I mean, the open looks they've allowed from long range have turned into a lot of points. And the call will be against Robin Lopez. That's his first foul. Rockets led the league in three-point attempts last year, guys, after tying for the lead the season prior. Well, the advanced stats community sees the three-pointer as the best shot after a layup. I'm not sure I agree entirely, but, you know, the Rockets' numbers crunchers have kind of established that, and as a result, the coaching staff has given the players the green light. Back to Terry. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at six. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Watch shots, a stat that sometimes doesn't tell the whole story. Big time shot blockers aren't always elite defenders. And then the opposite is true. Their block shot totals don't quite capture that great impact they really have defensively. And I think when you look at Hakeem Olajuwon, I mean, the numbers show that he was a phenomenal defensive player. 3,830 career blocks, two-time defensive player of the year. I think he put him alongside greats like Bill Russell, who played before blocks were actually recorded, of course. But we put Olajuwon up near Russell in terms of maybe greatest interior defenders of all time. Well, you've heard the saying, you live by the three, you die by the three. Last season, the Rockets set an all-time record in scoring disparity from half to half against the Thunder. 73 in the first half, and then a season low, 19 in the second. Matthews, no good. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. 
Cannon kicks to Harden. Second chance shot. Passes it to Jones. And it's Portland with the rebound. Lopez has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Well, the Rockets last season and hold one of the most balanced offensive teams in the league. They've got the weapons to score inside as well as out, obviously playing through Dwight Howard and then the perimeter game of James Harden. Terrence Jones was part of the 2012 championship team at Kentucky with Anthony Davis and in year two with the Rockets stepping into the starting role at power forward. Looking at it. Oh, get it! Oh, 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 watch out now! Oh, oh, oh. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. Oh, take it to the hoop. And how a brilliant throwdown. Yeah, just exerting his authority out there. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Well, as far as the defense goes, Clark, that is not what's going to keep them in this lead. Yeah, but from the other perspective, you can see just how much that dunk pumped those players up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree, guys. I sense a little bit of a momentum shift here. The three from Harden. Kept alive by Houston. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. Trailblazers trail by nine. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. Sixteen seconds left to play in the third. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of them. And it's Beverly missing. I like the work there, contesting that shot. It looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rip. Yeah, you know, such... Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Rockets ahead. They're up by 11. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Rockets lead by 11. Terrence Jones is down low with Howard. Patrick Beverly out there with Terry. And it's a reason in a, the small forward. That's the five for Houston right now. Howard against Lopez. He's whistled for the five-second back-to-the-basket violation. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds to Portland. They'll retain possession. Here's Lillard. Into LaMarcus Aldridge. Portland moving the ball. Around. Lillard again missing. Not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. And that one's good. And it's seven points for Trevor Ariza. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Boy, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. Pass to Howard. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Trailblazers trail by 10. Matthews with it. Guarded now by Jason Terry. From past the arc, another three for Matthews. Matthews has got six points in the quarter. Defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. James Harden, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. It was clear what message he was trying to get across. He said, this lead isn't big enough that we're safe. Not by a long shot. I don't want us sitting back and milking the clock. Play to win. Show some aggression. Guys? I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. The three from Harden. 
And it's Portland with the rebound. Matthews into the lane. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally got the run they needed to make this game close again. And now they've got some serious momentum on their side as we head down the stretch. And he's performing at such a high level. That's why they're in the lead right now. Three-pointer Lillard. And it's Lillard again missing. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. The three from Harden. Offensive rebound. And another shot. And there's the nice layup by Howard. And the Rockets lead by nine. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. That's been so critical, Clark, because whenever they have gotten the ball into the paint, it's resulted in points, it seems like. Aldrich kicks to Matthews. All sorts of time. And a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. Matthews has got 10 points in the quarter. Dives for it. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. From T. Harden. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And it's Matthews with the jam. Well, the shot's finally dropping for them in bunches. And I'll tell you what, the complexion of this game has totally changed. You know, that kind of offensive eruption was the only thing that was going to get them back into this one. Terry, the pass to a reason. From deep. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. And the Rockets making a change here. Beverly's checked in. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 14 to 4 run. And Lillard kicks to Batum. No good. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. Here's Howard. Batum grabs the miss. Batum's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Aldridge left side. It's stolen by Ariza. Puts it up. Here's Howard. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gain sometimes. Lillard from outside. The shot is off. So Houston will take it the other way. He may need some rest, guys. He looks tired because he hasn't made anything this quarter. Harden's shot is off. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. From deep three-point range, and the rebound goes to Lopez. Not much time to work with. They need a basket here. Yep, they've got to get a steal or foul to stop the clock. But two, this is to Lillard. And here's Matthews on the arc. Buries it from outside. It's been a humongous fourth quarter for him, especially from long range. He's in a groove, and that tray of his has just been dead. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. So we see the Rockets get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kelp.